Good afternoon, everybody. Dan here, Ultimate Boston Red Sox Collector page on Facebook and Red Sox Hall of Fame and PSA Slab Collector. Um, I am here today with another video I posted a little over a week ago, probably a little longer than that now, a video of all my Red Sox starting lineup figures. And so by popular demand, I mentioned I was going to do a couple of times, I was going to do a McFarland video. And I've had several people make comments that they were anxious to see that. Uh, so kind of surprised at how many people still think starting lineups are cool. Uh, I think starting lineups are cool, but I think McFarlane's are way cooler because they're way more lifelike and they're bigger. And I love the packaging and they're just very realistic. So I'm going to go ahead and start showcasing these. Um, I'm going to start off just because I'm trying to make this as smooth as possible. I'm going to start out with the multi-packs of starting lineups. And... I'm not even going to attempt the years on these because, um, honestly, off the top of my head, I don't know what all of them are. So the first one over here is a three-pack featuring Kurt Schilling, David Ortiz, Jason Veritek. This is a, this I know is from 2004. It's a Kurt Schilling and Albert Pujols World Series commemorative. And this, this is the other three-pack from the same year in, uh, featuring J.D. Drew, Jonathan Papabon, and Manny Ramirez. Next one down the line is a David Ortiz, classic Ortiz pose, running the bases after hitting a walk-off. And yes, I have Yankee stuff in my collection. Uh, this is a Derek Jeter and Nomar. Uh, probably worth more because of Jeter than Nomar, I'm sure, but still a nice piece of Nomar sliding into second and Jeter waiting, the, waiting placing the tag. Next one was a 2000 World Series commemorative, uh, World Series champions with Pedroia and Ortiz, and you can see the World Series trophy there. I'm gonna skip past these because these are not McFarlands, and I'm gonna skip over to this side. Um, again, I'm sorry the transitions aren't the best here, but as you can see, I'm gonna start in this corner. We have the mini McFarlands. This is a dual pack with Nomar and Tori Hunter. Then we have Pedro and Griffey Jr. with the Reds. And then we have Schilling and Matsui. And then we have an individual Papelbon. And now going up to the full size, uh, these are all in year order. Again, I want to say the first year of McFarland's was 2002. Do not quote me on that though. I'm sorry, this is a little out of focus. So I'm just gonna back up a little bit. So we have Pedro and Pedro. So we have the home and road jerseys. And we have Nomar, home and road jerseys. Sorry, I'm doing the best I can with this. Um, I have showcases in the way here, so I'm trying to work around them. And then we have Manny, home and road. That should be a little bit better. And then we move on to Roger Clemens. That's actually the variant Clemens. That's one of the more expensive ones that I have. They typically sell anywhere from 50 to $100. Um, they'll tell you that it's worth about 150 but you could probably sell it for between 50 and 100 This one's really clean, nice packaging, no damage. Uh, all of these are held up on the wall, the same as my starting lineups. I basically have a tack. It doesn't go through the plastic, it goes underneath the plastic lip. I found that they hung really nicely. They don't always hang nicely like that. So these are a little more rigid than the starting lineups. So then we have the Derek Lowe uh, red jersey and away jersey. Again, I apologize. I have to kind of come work around my showcases here. And we have a beautiful Pedro in a red jersey. I love that one. Then we have Nomar, home and away, same pose. And then we have Mr. Kurt Schilling, home and away. And then we have Johnny Damon. And I'm gonna skip over to the little guys here. We have, oops, sorry, Johnny Damon. Again, red jersey and away jersey. And I'm gonna skip down to the rest of the little guys here. We have the individual Jason Veritek. I love this figure. <laughs> love him in the catching pose. And Mr. Big Poppy. Kurt Schilling. The red variant Kurt Schilling. Manny Ramirez. And Josh Beckett. And then we have the David Ortiz mini in the red jersey. 
And I'm gonna just start back on this side so I don't have some blur here. Then we have two different Kurt Schilling variations here. We have two different Kurt Schillings. Now they both are in home uniforms. Now what you can't see, because I can't zoom in clearly enough to show it, is that the second Kurt Schilling actually has a World Series logo on his hat. That's the much scarcer variation. Uh, a lot of people don't know that there's a variation because you can't visibly see it unless you're looking inside the packaging or you're opening it up. But uh, I can assure you the second one does have the World Series logo on it. 2004 World Series logo. And we have Nomar. That's a variant. Actually, it was with the Cubs at the time on that one. Uh, so that one's a little harder to get. And we have Dice K, Home and Away. We have Euclid's Home and Away. Uh, unfortunately, at some point, I lost the sticker on the Euclid's, probably when I had it in boxes at my old house. Then we have Papelbon. Pedro Martinez. This one, actually, if you'll notice, the banner on this is like the Mets colors of orange and blue. It was a variant of the, his Mets figure in a Red Sox uniform, so that one's one of the tougher ones to find. Then we have this David Ortiz, Josh Beckett, and then we have Manny Ramirez, Home and Away. One of them is quite a bit harder to get than the other. And then we have Jason Veritek, the captain, Home and Away. And just bear with me for a second. Not as much light in this corner. We have Big Poppy, Home and Away. And then we move down to row three. We have... Pedroia, Mike Wool, Home and Away, love that one, cool pose, and then we have Mr. Josh Beckett, Jacoby Ellsbury, Victor Martinez, Home and Road variants, a lot of people forget that Victor was a member of the Red Sox, and then we have Kevin Euclid. We have the home version, and then we have the red version with the World Series trophy. Uh, that one is quite a bit scarcer. I want to say it's numbered, um, I think, 5,000, but I don't even know if it's that high. So a lot harder to find. And let me just back up on this one. We got another nice Pedroia. Love that one. Fielding the ball. And then we have his home version of that as well. And then we have another Kevin Euclid. McFarlane really liked Kevin Euclid. <laughs> he has a lot of figures. Uh, Dice K. Carl Crawford. If you've been paying attention to the news lately, he just got arrested the other day. Um, don't know if it was domestic violence or something not good, regardless. Adrian Gonzalez, who I loved when they picked him up. And then it turned out he just hated to be in Boston. So, see ya. Uh, and then more Euclid, got the home and the road, or the home and the red home. And then we have the final four over here for the single figures. We have Big Poppy, John Lackey, another Adrian Gonzalez, and Jacoby Ellsbury. And I'm missing something here. I'm trying to remember what happened to my box set. Well, let me come over here. These are the Cooperstown collection ones. We have Ted Williams, Home and Away. We have the Tom Seaver variant. He was with the Mets. As you can see, it says New York Mets, but in a Red Sox uniform. Dennis Eckersley. And we have Babe Ruth. Carlton Fisk, that's one of my favorites, recapturing the 75 game six home run. And there's the one I was looking for. Jason Veritek. I was thinking that was in a box. Veritek with the umpire. Very cool. One of the scarcer ones. This one is extremely popular. Still consistently sells about the same as the Clemens in the 50 to 75 range. Picked this one up a few years ago. And then I have the Yastrzemski home and the Yastrzemski away. And then I have the Carlton Fisk. Another cool one. And I'm going to turn my camera sideways for these last two. This is the bottom one here is the last McFarlane I got to complete my collection and probably the scarcest one. I believe it's numbered to 250. It's the variant Kurt Schilling. This one is actually autographed by Schilling and has the World Series trophy. This is a very limited one. Um, I actually bought two of these. The first one I never got. I got my money back. Seller mailed it, left it as a carrier pickup. 
Don't know if the carrier decided to help themselves to it. Don't know. Never got it. It had been over a year since I had seen one on eBay, so I was really bummed. Within two weeks, another one popped up for a lesser price. I grabbed it as a buy it now, and that was it. So this one is personally autographed by Schilling. Right there, you can kind of see personally autographed base. Sorry about that, that was my dryer finishing. So yeah, I get to fold laundry after this. So that is my McFarlane collection. Um, like I said before, it is a complete collection. If somebody has one that you didn't see here, um, you might have missed it because I have them all to my knowledge. Super cool collection. I love the way I have them displayed. This particular room, when we first moved in, I reached out to a guy I used to work with and wanted to have the grand idea of putting display cases on the walls. And after he gave me a quote of nearly 10 grand to do just this room, I said, you know what? A 99 cent box of tacks will do just fine. I have never dusted these in this room. And they've been in here for closing in on three years now, probably two and a half years. And I have not once dusted them and they do not have any dust on them. So $10,000 or it was about 75 cents. <laughs> so I'm glad I went with my gut on that one and didn't spend that kind of money because I'd really be kicking myself now. So I think they look great. I have them all in year order. Um, I have some other figures that I kind of skipped over. I'll do another video on those sometime, talk a little bit more about those. But um, that's my video for today. Um, hope you guys who have been asking for it like it. Um, I really think that these figures and some time are going to take off in value. I really do. I think they're gorgeous. They stopped making them, um, I would say at least, at least six or seven years ago. Um, and nobody's come out with anything like it. So love McFarlane's. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, does anybody else out there collect these? Um, because I just absolutely love them. So just do a quick scan here. So that's my video for today. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. And that's all I got. Have a great afternoon, everybody.